about to walk to the store get some uh get some cheese actually i need some cheese it's kind of funny to know that uh some of the things you can't do it out of you know like uh when i make sandwiches at times i need a little bit of cheese to go with my sandwiches you know what i'm saying so i uh, i'm gonna get some cheese well i hopefully you enjoyed uh or at least hey you know leave a comment leave a comment about what was said in terms of uh you know what's going on in china i know a lot of people have a lot of different takes on what's going on but you know you, you got to be you got you got to have an educated take on it and you have to look at it as you know a situation that's that's growing it's going to become a pretty big thing i think i think it's 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 disheartening to see what's going on and it's very uh it's very uh it's very uh, uh, uh um, touching because you know um when you see stuff like that when you see people getting taken advantage of and to know that in this day day and age of 20 of the 21st century let's say 21st century and in a time where people should be more educated about about ethnicities about race about um everything you think that most people are not most people are stupid you know a lot of people are ignorant to what race really is you know people look at a person color and they say well oh well you're black well no knucklehead you're not black you just got more melanin in your complexion that makes you dark the more melanin you have the darker you are plain and simple you know people with higher melanin in their complexion or have it would call an adaptive is an adaptive um, 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 trait to um, to weather okay because if you are in a tropical country depending how far well it's 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 an, it's it goes back it goes back generations generation i mean thousands and thousands of generations okay mother nature know what she was doing this is not going to change overnight you know i'm so tired of the of the of the ignorance you know everyone runs around runs around with a, a ignorant slant an ignorant uh, uh perspective of of race you know no one is better than each other we all are born in the same way but guess what we all have a different perspective to uh to to to, to um to to grow into everyone grows into a different perspective but the worst perspective there is is ignorance okay the worst perspective there is on the face of the planet is when you have an ignorant perspective towards life towards people towards things around you that's where the that's where the problem comes in so yeah we need to stop this we need to actually go out there and start uh, um, being humanistic to our um to our fellow brothers despite their ethnicity despite their language despite you know who they are man i mean <laughs> i think once once in my entire life someone tried to say nigger you know what i told him i said to him i said you know we know what a nigger is you know what nigger really is nigger is a person of unscrupulous behavior it was it's it's but no one knows that a lot of people i don't know if a lot of people understand that or not a person of unscrupulous behavior meaning that if you are a thug a thief a rapist a person that would do anything under the sun okay to up uh, to, to 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 human beings to animals or to probably you know humanity in general that's what you call a person with unscrupulous things okay unscrupulous like they shit that, that, that you can't fathom right so please people need to be need to educate themselves on what things are i've never been one to fall for oh you're a nigger <laughs> i mean someone called me a nigger guess what i'm gonna be laughing at him I say, well, you're the nigga because you're the one who just called me a nigga because you're the, the one that's ignorant. And what is a, uh, a nigga? A, a person who of, uh, of ignorance, a person of unscrupulous behavior, and a person who has no intellect about what is. A person that's willing to, 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 to cause di uh, uh, um, diversion and distract people from, uh, from their conscious thought of what's good. Help. 
you know? People just gotta wake up. Wake up and stop layering, stop letting mass media distract, distract us from the real truth of what really is. Sometimes in life things grip you so much where you just find yourself in dismay to the whole situation and to what's going on around you because you're like, why is such ignorance is being allowed to be, to be prevail in the world when we live in such a more technologically advanced society? We, we are no longer in the stone ages, we're no longer in the dark ages, we're no longer in the, in the pre-industrial age. None of that stuff, right? We live in highly technological society now, but people are still ignorant. People go to school to become doctors, people go to school to become philosophers and become these educated people in society, and they're still ignorant, they're still racist, they're still, is this something, it's, it's almost like that one innate Thing in the human psyche that some people can't get rid of, you know? Even though when some people say, well, I I'm not a racist, but get, given the right situation, given a certain situation, they turn out being racist nonetheless, <laughs> you know? And you know, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I may come across a situation and when I start to feel that, um, that um, racist intent coming into my head, I say no, but I'm, everyone is not like me, you know? I don't want to say, oh, well, look at, that, uh, look at that white guy, look at that Asian guy, look at that Mexican guy, or look at that, that particular, look at that Egyptian guy. I mean, come on, you know? To each their own, and you gotta see for it. Humanity is humanity, people is people. And you have to be very um, mindful of yourself when in terms of racism, in terms of, um, how you handle yourself in the world when it comes to being a person of open-mindedness. And I'm gonna leave you that thought, being a person of open-mindedness, thoughtfulness, having empathy towards others, being able to not look at others from a disparaging, disparaging point of view of, of, of color and, and, and ethnicity and culture, but looking at a person for who they are. A person, another human being just like themselves, they just have to be look, look different. I think I've always said, people are more alike than different. And um, when you dig deep down inside, we're all the same. But one thing God in place, I mean, placed in the world, I should say, to see if we are truly who we are meant to be, because we are still evolving. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I know I'm jumping on a on a different scientific part of, of what the discussion, but I'm gonna say we're still evolving as a people. And if we're not ready to deal with what's to come thousands of years from now, which is being more psychologically inclined of our surroundings and, and, and other people, well, we have a long way to go then, because, uh, <laughs> If we can't get over racism, I can't get over a person looking different from you, and that kind of, that small ignorance, how are we gonna deal with the bigger things to come? Because I made a comment to a fella online, I said, look, do you think, I'm gonna leave it, matter of fact, I'm gonna leave it with this thought, do you think if a, a race of super, of super alien beings, alien means different because, you know, it means that they're not from this, this world, right? So some people need to understand that. Now, alien doesn't mean coming from another country. I'm not saying that particular part, but in terms of outer space, let's just say, let's just use a scientific sci-fi analogy. If someone was, to, if, a, if a race of super beings was to come from outer space and it came to Earth to take us over and use our resources and, and kill us or whatever, just destroy us utterly because they don't give a shit. They're just here for our resources, right? You see it in sci-fi movies all the time. 
Do you think they're gonna stand back and be like, well, you know, we like the white people better, so we're gonna go ahead and say, and, and not destroy them, but we're gonna destroy everyone else. But you know what, no. We're not gonna destroy the black guys or the Mexican guys. We're gonna destroy all of the, all of the Caucasian white people. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. That's what we're gonna do. No, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna look at us and be like, I don't give a shit what they look like or who they are, we're gonna kill them all. Because they're all human beings. They are human, they are a threat to us. So why are we a threat to our own selves if we can be an entire, if our entire existence of people living on this planet, no matter what color or race or ethnicity we are, if we are a threat, if we one day we become a threat to an alien race coming from outer space, that, that rhymed, and they look at us as one and they just don't want to destroy us, why are we destroying our own selves when we are the same? Why are we destroying ourselves when we are nothing else more than human beings living on this planet? So yeah, take that into consideration. Peace out.